Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie. Welcome in. For those of you who are brand new, I hope you find this reading today useful. If you are returning, I am sending you all of my love and my whole heart. I am so grateful to have you here with me. If you've been following me for a while, I've included a brief life update in the description box below. This reading is for any and all Gemini placements, so please take this reading as it resonates. Since this is a general reading, it will not resonate for everyone. If you find today's reading does resonate with you, though, you can absolutely find the link to the extended reading in the description box below, along with information about the reading schedule and my personal reading availability. This reading can be applied to any and all situations, including love and career and personal growth. So without further ado, Gem, let's jump right into your reading. So I'm going to cut the deck. And while I was pre-shuffling, okay, I pulled some additional cards from the Angel Wisdom Tarot to get advice for you right off the bat, okay? So before we lay down the Celtic Cross, I'm going to show you what we pulled. So we pulled the Lovers and the Five of Wands along with the Page of Wands. So with the Lovers, this is your energy. So you're coming in very strong. And so with underneath the deck also being the three of cups, what I got from this advice is to follow follow your passions. All right. Um, if it comes, if it's down to a lover um, or a choice in love or some kind of choice that is important to you in career, in your educational pursuits, it's a new endeavor, whatever it is, because the page of wands is an adventurer. This is somebody who is often found at a crossroad and just has a lot of excitement, a lot of energy, and just really motivated to go and do something. And you might have been receiving a lot of opinions from different people. You might have been conflicted even within yourself on what to do. But the truth is, you know what excites you most, and you are being urged to take a closer look at what makes you excited, what inspires you, what motivates you, what empowers you, and in what direction do you feel pulled? Because sometimes we feel like in order to choose something, we have to push and do this uphill battle thing where we're constantly fighting so hard to feel accepted or we wish we wanted a path because it's simpler, but meanwhile, we're fantasizing about a different opportunity. What path feels easier and it's like going down the path of least resistance. So consider what motivates you and what path pulls you in as opposed to requires you to push through it. Okay? Underneath the deck, we have the five of pentacles. So for some of you, there has been um, a financial shortage, energy shortage, time shortage, right? Pentacles indicate all three of those things. So for some of you, you feel very left out in the cold or someone may have felt made you feel this way. This is definitely a challenge. This is something that you shouldn't have to go through alone, but you might be. I would say with the five of pentacles, it's usually a sign that you should reach out for someone else in the environment that has experience in whatever it is you're going through and get their input on the situation. All right, but let's go ahead and just see what's going on. So your current energy is the Two of Cups. What is blocking you is strength, so possible Leo energy. Best case scenario is the Ace of Swords. Why it's all happening is the Six of Pentacles. Recent past, we have the Page of Cups. Coming in, we have the Wheel of Fortune. How you see yourself is the Seven of Wands. What is in your environment is the Ten of Swords. Your fear is the Ten of Pentacles. And your most likely outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so for some of you, you are dealing with an Earth sign. Right off the bat, you have very strong Gemini energy, very strong Leo energy. You also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, 
And the recent past, there might have been some kind of love offer or creative offer with you, maybe from a person or from a greater entity, right? Like a corporation or a school or something like that. But it's been, it, it, it offered an opportunity to connect either with yourself or other people. This two of cups can talk about emotional stability in a connection with someone else, but this can also indicate stability within yourself. It's being clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So Page of Pentacles is a student of some kind, somebody learning a new trade. This could also be a friend, someone that wants to build a strong foundation on trust, commitment. And with the Page of Pentacles being, um, you know, the, being a student as the Page of Pentacles, they don't want to get this wrong. So if this is in love for you, this is somebody who is very cognizant of their movement in this connection. And they want to give back to you the same level of commitment that they feel coming from you. If this is a work partner or a study partner or um, just anything else, another individual or even yourself finding balance in this new role, it, just learning this new skill set. This is somebody who definitely has a, a keen eye for detail, appreciates detail and wants to improve on this commitment and continue building it and moving forward. All right the wow strong leo energy here with the block is strength and the sun so for some of you you're holding back you're prolonging happiness or something about this endeavor or friendship or person who's present they're asking you to hold back your happiness um there is now with the strength card there is a semblance of balance it's not necessarily sacrifice like the like the hanged man but this feels like a hardship for you gem this can be um someone sort of asking you to dim your light in order to appease them or you know shut yourself off from the potential of other other opportunities asking you to hold back and it's almost like they're asking you to reconsider what makes you happy and for some of you this could be part of the five of five of wands energy that we pulled in the advice where you're asking your like you respect this person's opinion but what they're asking you to do doesn't actually make sense coming from somebody who cares about you because you even though they might know you you know yourself best and so it's raising questions for you oh it's it's raising conflict for you and exactly so the best case scenario is the ace of swords with the two of swords realizing that by having the answer but not moving forward you're going to remain in a stuck place so the best case scenario is that you realize that indecision is really not going to help in this matter you want to move through the situation in order to do that you have to make a decision you have to arrive at not just the conclusion but the conclusion that you already know to be true the ace of swords is coming through because you understand what you, you know what answer is right for you and for many of you, I feel like you know that whatever this person is asking of you or suggesting to you or this group of people, whatever it might be, they're wrong. They're wrong and you know they're wrong. You see the truth, but out of respect or friendship, whatever it is, you are holding back, dimming your light, preventing yourself from seeking out other opportunities or enjoying the warmth of others or the warmth of particular opportunities you want that you're excited about because you don't want to hurt their feelings and that's what it feels like and the reason this is all happening is the six of pentacles and the knight of wands so someone here may have been giving their their uh, passions out to other people to other opportunities they've been kind of scattered in their energy and just going wherever they feel compelled um for some of you right this is somebody that you know, you might have realized is actually a player at heart. This person does just want to give what they feel like giving to everyone that they can. Um, and this is that player energy. And they give you only what they feel like giving to you because they're too busy giving to everyone else. For others of you, this is about giving someone else a fire sign, possibly Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, some kind of a loan, or just giving them the time um, that you can, right? Giving them the time that you can and making that time and because you are giving them what little left, what little time or energy or money that you have left to this person, uh, you know, you are expecting a certain level of, of reciprocation from them and there may not be that. What they're asking for in return may not sit well with you.
Now, in the recent past, we do have the Page of Cups and the Magician. So this could be Gemini, Virgo. This could be a Gemini, a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Okay, so if this is a Gemini or a Virgo, this person has definitely made their friendship and their flirtatiousness and their desire to have something possibly more romantic with you known. Um, this person feels very comfortable and confident in where this is going. For others of you, this is really just you just doing what your what feels right in your heart, right? This this new love, this unjaded love, this this creativity for others of you, this spiritual growth, this intuitive pull nudge whatever it is it's like this pathway you feel like it's open to you it's meant for you and you are confident in your ability to seek it out seek out fulfillment and grow in your own right right this is the beginning of a journey for many of you be the page is a very young energy and the gemini is a one or the magician i should say is a, is a one so this is the beginning of a new process in love in career in whatever whatever uh spiritual growth that you're encountering at this moment you are a manifester you are in the baby in the baby stages of a new plan coming in you have the wheel of fortune with the four of wands the high priestess and the ten of wands so this is really great so it's interesting gem because you know what you want out of a situation and you are just about prepared to drop the load it's almost like you just want to see what they do next or what is going what it's going to take to bring this person with you it almost feels to me like you're waiting out this person to come to their senses you're not actually you're not actually trying to you're not actually trying to fight some kind of like need to stay anchored to a situation on the contrary you're ready to make a move you just don't want to have to leave this person behind you're hoping that they see what you see before you move on from this Right, So it's about sharing the same vision. Do they share the same vision? Because if they don't, you're kind of looking at the time here with the Wheel of Fortune and saying, all right, well, it's almost time. I need to get out of this. So either you're coming with me or I am going on my own and I have no problems doing that because you want stability. You know what is right for you. You know what you've been working towards. And with the High Priestess, this tells me that you already know the answer. You're just not saying it. Four of Wands, this could be for some of you a new home, a new purchase, a new job. Um, it's a new structure of some kind. You've been working hard on this. It was a recent decision. Again, baby steps. You have reached a new milestone here and you are prepared. If you haven't, you will be very soon. And with the High Priestess, right, it's like you know that you are going to unload this burden with the Ten of Wands. You're just hoping that this person or this situation is not one of them. But if they are, you're prepared to move forward. How you see yourself is the seven of wands and the three of cups so you see yourself as for the moment putting enjoyment to the side remember under your advice here you had the three of cups so this is this is a feeling here of in the advice in the advice it's urging you to consider what makes you happy and and stokes the fire of your passion and inspiration so that you can move in that direction which pulls you as opposed to is kind of resistant to you it might feel like work or it might feel like responsibility you see yourself here as resisting the three of cups pushing away your friends pushing away the time to get away to celebrate to feel good about what you've achieved i'm not saying guilt but some of you might have been almost like the person that that you're encountering that you're in this situation with someone might be trying to make you feel guilty but you gem you're very smart and you're like no <laughs> you can you can sit there and try to make try to make me feel guilty i'm not gonna feel guilty honestly you're just playing yourself when it's time for me to reap to when it's time for me to move i'm gonna move and if you're at you're you're by my side then that's great and if you're not i'm still okay but i do see you at the moment prolonging some sort of gratification friendships and whatnot um in the name of something you feel you've also achieved because the seven comes after the six of wands Right, So there was something that made you feel very victorious, something that you have put a lot of time and energy into, and something that generally brings you a sense of pride. You are protecting that by, um, by leaving the friends and celebrations to the side. Now, some of you are trying to preserve this energy, and you stick to your guns, and you say, you know what? No, 
these were people who I knew before. This was my crew. These are folks that you shouldn't feel threatened by. You know, these are these are my right hands. You know, this is where I get my creative inspiration from, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you actually are standing by the side of whatever this three of cup means to you. And you say to this other person, no, you know, I understand what you're where you're coming from, but this is where this is where my my happiness lies. If this is a career path and a choice that you're making, it makes you very happy. And you're choosing happiness. You are trying to preserve it. It does feel to me like you're prepared to move on, Gem. You're just hoping this other, this whoever else is involved here, you're hoping they come to their senses. We've got another five on the table, right? Five of wands, five of pentacles, and five of swords. So we do have fives. There is conflict here, but what's in the environment is like we mentioned with manipulation and someone possibly trying to make you feel guilty. Someone here has realized that that is not going to work with a 10 of swords and a five of swords. This is a very painful ending to somebody trying to get one over on you, right? I feel, Jim, that you are really just trying to make the best decision possible for everyone involved, but the people involved don't see what you see, the big picture. They don't understand how what they do and what they say has a ripple effect. And in many ways, you're actually leading this situation. So you're not asking permission. You're letting them know where you're about to be so if they want to be with you they need to make a choice for themselves you're just giving them the grace of patience but besides that the manipulation the tactics the conflict the getting in your head gem you you've outsmarted that the, you invented the rules to that game you don't you don't play mind games because you don't have to you you are a straight shooter you say what it is and then if they like it they can go with it and if they don't they can they can step the other to the other way right? You don't play these games. So someone in your environment here has realized that that's not going to work. You're not prone to that, Gem. You're smarter than that. And here we go with the fear, 10 of pentacles and the world. The fear that something that you've worked really hard towards is going to come to an end. The fact, you know, the, the fear here is the tens can be legacy, but a lot of the times the tens just talk about endings and sometimes things end halfway. I've seen the 10 of pentacles represent a third party situation because for all that it is, it's not a marriage, but everything that could be possibly put into that 30, third party situation is, is that's all, that's it. It's reached the 10, right? That's about as great as it's going to get. That's about as complete as it's going to get. So the 10 of pentacles just indicates that a cycle will come to an end at whatever phase it is meant to. It doesn't necessarily indicate marriage. It can, but not necessarily. So with the world, with this being in the fear position, it feels to me like someone here is afraid that this is all there was and that the chapter ends with this ending being where it's left off. Is this it? Right? Will I not get the payout? Will I not get the money back? Will I not, will I not get my share? Will we not profit from this? Right? Am I going to lose this money in the divorce, in the separation? Um, you know, am I going to make the wrong business deal? Am I going to lose all this scholarship money? Something, something like that. Something impactful. It's big. Whatever this is, it's impactful and it's big. And it's the closing of a chapter. So you're afraid of this ending this way or someone is afraid of this ending this way. We have the Hierophant here. Could be connecting with a Taurus. Strong Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So everyone in some capacity is here. Now, your outcome, most likely outcome here, is the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This indicates a, a slow but sure journey. All right, the, the Knight of Pentacles understands that the pentacle that they hold moving from point A to point B, it, it, this, the journey needs to be slow in order to preserve the pentacle. It is delicate, it is fragile, and it is... The, it is of the utmost importance that that seed be planted. Excuse me. That that seed be planted. And so whatever this is, this indicates a commitment that might take a while and it's slow to progress. Very, very slow to progress. But it will guaranteed get to the end. Not like the Knight of Wands where it might decide halfway through its journey it wants to go in the opposite direction. Not like the Knight of Cups where maybe something wins, you know, wins over his fantasy and, and, and he glamorizes a new direction and moves in another direction. Or the Knight of Swords who may never get to where he wants to go because he gets to the end and just is reckless, right? The Knight of Pentacles 
takes into account every plan A, B, C, and D. So this could be you just being resourceful, Gem. This could just be indicative of your journey, that you are taking baby steps and that as long as you continue forward, you are going to reach the end. Knight of Cups here could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio with whom you're connecting. Hierophant can be a Taurus. Queen of Swords can be a Libra Aquarius Gemini. But this is about moving towards a direction that wins your heart, okay? This could be a new love interest. This could be being in love. Just having a love for what you're doing and moving in that direction. But with the Hierophant, this energy is, it is magnified and is put in stone. So how we just said with the Knight of, Knight of Cups, sometimes he might glamorize and fall in love with a different path and move and change course. The Hierophant says, no, you have decided on a commitment. You've decided on a plan. This is school, marriage, a career path, spirituality, right? The church. This is about not only moving in a direction that, that owns your heart, but it's also setting it in stone and making a, a long lasting commitment to it. Queen of Swords indicates an individual who knows their worth, has been through their fair share of pain and experience, but they inform their decision on their experience and not just on love and not on other people's expectations. She makes a choice and she puts her foot down and she lets you know what time it is, right? So this is the energy here and the outcome. Someone here makes decisive movements towards a commitment where emotionally they feel like it's right and where the patient's required is patience they also have in order to move into this commitment, move into this marriage, move into this new phase of being in love and seeing where it goes, being in love with your job, loving your career, whatever it is, it is something meant for you. And for the collective, that opening advice of follow where your passions lie, you might have been investing your energy and your time into opinions of others or choosing other you know trying out different directions because people have been invited you know kind of giving you their advice on what you should do with your time in your life when in reality you know what you want you know where you belong and so the advice here is listen to your passion listen to your passion and make a choice stand up for what you believe in stand up for what you believe in but instead of asking yourself what do other people think ask yourself all right well am i ready to move on even if these folks even if this person feels like this is where they want to continue to play because i have other things that i want to do and if they're not on board with me i don't know what to tell you i'm out you know so gem very beautiful reading i'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended um Right, we've covered some guidance and, and advice here. We're gonna, in the extended, we are going to uncover a bit more for anyone who might be dealing in love because I am seeing this being kind of going from a friendship possibly, something kind of platonic into something more serious. So we will cover love in the extended reading and we will see how this person feels towards you, their intentions towards you, the actions they might take towards you and we'll pull addition, additional clarity on the most likely outcome between you and this person for those of you who decide to join the extended. So hopefully a little bit more information and specificity around the outcome there. So my loves, thank you so much, Gem, allowing me to share this space with you. If you found it helpful and clarifying, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know how you're doing. Um, and yeah, if you're going to join me in the extended, I hope to see you there. I look forward to it. And if not, I will see you in the next reading. I am sending you all of my love. Take care and stay well. I'm sending you all of my love. Bye, Gem.